morning, good morning, good morning. I don't want to go to work. But that's nothing new. I guess no one really wants to go to work, though, unless you're able to do the job that you really want to do in life. Walmart is not that job for me. Ugh, also it involves getting up at 3.30, so it's definitely not my favorite job. I will say, everything, even though I always dread it in the mornings, because just the morning stinks so bad because you have to get up, but once you're there and you're kind of awake, it's really, it's not too bad. But just if you think about it too hard, it's pretty bad. Dread. <laughs> Also, since it's the last day, that makes it easier to work harder. Of course, a lot of times Mondays are our heaviest days, which isn't good because I always have to try to get off early so I can go to practice and be there on time. And lately we've not been getting off till like 5, so I've been having to book it to get it there. And yeah, the club's a decent like 20 minutes away. <sighs> I think I should make it today. We've had fairly, fairly light days these past two days, which is good. I'll be honest, I had no idea that there was a cold front coming. It's like 57 out here right now. That's cold. Um, because, I mean, <clears throat> it was, it had been in like the 70s to 80s. All of a sudden, this cold weather just came out of nowhere. There's a nice little breeze outside. It's really nice out here. All right, let's get going. It's misty, it's cold, and dark. Those are like all the things I need to make me sleep. I almost fell asleep in the car on the way here. I didn't say that. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, just got out. It's quarter till five. It's actually raining. I can't believe I'm vlogging in the rain, but you know, you gotta do it at some point. Ugh. It's cold and wet. I have no idea where this like cold front came from. It's, it came from somewhere. Probably up north. All right, I'm gonna see if I have enough time to try to grab something to eat too. By something to eat, I mean like probably some junk food from a convenience store. Maybe something a bit healthier. Okay, all right, class is all over. I am on my way home. I'm actually going to go pick up some shoes because my Converse have holes in them, my Nikes are getting holes in them, it's time to basically get rid of them. So it's been a while since I've gotten new shoes and Rack Room's running a deal, it looks like buy one get one 50% off. They always run that deal but I mean it's a pretty good decent deal. So uh, anyway, let's go get some shoes. Okay, well that was a complete bust. So Rack Room and Famous Footwear had like nothing that I was looking for. Uh, Famous Footwork kind of had something, but um, I think I could find it cheaper elsewhere. I'm actually going to go to the Converse store out at St. Augustine to, I think, actually get some shoes. I was looking at the Nikes, at Nike shoe, tennis shoes, and man, they're just, uh, I'm not impressed with Nike at all. Like, every single one of their shoes looks exactly the same, and they're very generic and incredibly cheap looking. So, I was actually looking at a pair of Pumas. They were made very well and uh, a little bit more pricey, but I mean, I think it's worth it in the long run. Um, they look like they'd hold up and they were really comfortable. So just when I was hating Nike, I realized that um, Nike actually owns Converse, which apparently that happened like in 2005. I've never, I didn't even know that. Um, but apparently Nike helped them do like a revision of the actual original Converse shoe. They didn't change much. They just kind of upped the quality a bit more, but nothing major. I love Chuck Taylor's shoes. I've always had a pair, but these, the pair I've got right now, they're like falling apart, but I've had them since, I've had these for almost three years now, so if they hold up forever. I love, I love Chuck. Anyway, I'm gonna eat some dinner and I think watch a movie. Okay, so that was Jackie, and that was actually a very interesting movie. It was definitely not what I expected going in. I, I, to be honest, I don't really know what I was expecting, 
but it wasn't this. There were it, it really got mixed reviews and I can I can tell why. There's some pretty major fundamental things that are kind of off about it. And I believe that's because it's so heavily stylized. The actual content of the story and the screenplay was actually pretty good for the most part. I think that that was actually its strong suit. Um, people who watch this movie are definitely going to be in for a history run and you'll find things out about the candies you probably never knew. So that was definitely its strongest aspect. Mechanically, it, the, it was too stylized. There was uh, some very odd music choices. I felt like the film was just trying way too hard to be an Oscar film, in all honesty. You could tell it was like, hey, this is a really great story that can get us an Oscar. Take note, you know. And I felt like they just tried way too hard with um, the music. It was too odd some of the music choices didn't fit the scenes they were the music choices i felt like would actually have been cool in the proper application but for this application it was it just it didn't flow it didn't fit um the some of the music was very loud actually and too loud to where it was like almost annoying so that was kind of off now natalie portman's performance I, to be honest, I've never actually seen Jackie Kennedy like talk in person, so I couldn't really think about it. So I went and watched a few YouTube videos of her talking, and she got a lot of critique from what I heard about her portrayal of Jackie. And I think, I think it was warranted. She kind of came off as a bit of a, I don't want to say the word bimbo, it's too strong a term, but she kind of came off a little uh, feather-brained and I know that she's supposed to if you actually watch some videos of Jackie she has a very monotone Bostonian almost English accent it's very prim and proper and but there's like no voice inflection it's very odd she speaks very differently than I, anyone you'll probably hear and I think that Natalie Portman got the the gist of um her voice actually very well. I think that she did very well in studying Jackie, whereas she fell short was, I think, portraying the emotions that Jackie was actually going through, I think. And that's what kind of, I felt like, brought Portman's um, performance slightly, slightly down. I hope that's not too confusing for you guys. You really need to kind of watch it and do a comparison, side-by-side -side comparison to kind of understand it. but. You, once you do, you'll be like, oh yeah, Jack, real Jackie is more calm, cool, and collected and a little bit more thoughtful. Portman Jackie is a little too too much going on up here. And I agree, it was a very stressful time and stuff, but even during, like, some of these interviews of her are, like, during the stressful times, so she was handling it a bit differently. Cinematically, a gorgeous movie. Um, I was very impressed with some of the actual um, visuals. There's some just great shots out of the movie, and there's this incorporation, like they did in Forrest Gump, the incorporation of actual real footage into a movie was brilliant. There's this one scene where Natalie Portman, as Jackie's riding in a car, and in the reflection you see the crowd. Well, the reflection is actual real footage, so you're actually, the scene you're watching is actually a modern-day scene with the old footage but it's new and old it's it's brilliant so some of the cin cinematography some of the edits the color um the color correction made it look very 60s which um excellent job on that um i think it could have been nominated for something like that but because of the other many shortcomings it had i feel like that's why it was excluded at the oscars um i believe if i remember correctly it was nominated for uh, best costume design and that is definitely warranted for this. Um, Jackie's clothing and style was perfect. It was on par with, you know, any photograph you could pull out of a history book. There's one other thing I want to mention, and it was actually my favorite part of the movie, and that was a montage scene that they did, and it was beautiful in my opinion. Jackie walks into Jack's office and turns on a stereo and plays like the first record she sees and we assume that it's like the last record that Jack was playing so it was like something she wanted to hear that he was listening to and it is a song from Camelot and it's actually the song Camelot 
And it's, I, I believe it's the Richard Harris version, if I'm not mistaken, which is my favorite version. Um, it may have been the Richard Burton one. I don't know. It's one of those two, I know. But the she plays this song, and if for those who don't know, um, JFK's administration was like basically called like Camelot, you know. It, it was structured after that. It was supposed to be Paradise and whatnot. So it was very fitting for the movie, and there was this montage that's so... It, it gets you in the guts because she's going through all these different as the montage is playing, as the song is playing, and you, the song reminds you of what the good things that JFK did, and the what you're watching is her preparing for his funeral, you know, getting her makeup on, trying different dresses, and, you know, getting, like, the kids ready, and all these different things, and it's, to me, that whole clip of the movie was the movie for me. It was the biggest selling point, and I just, I, I want to, like, when the movie comes out or something, I want to find that scene and just watch it again. It was, to me, it was it was a masterpiece of a scene um, as far as montages go. So that was definitely my highlight of the movie. So overall, my uh, review of Jackie, if, you, if you're looking to learn something more about the Kennedys, go watch this movie. I think it's a good one-timer you'll enjoy. However... Don't expect to be entertained. It's a very, um, there's some graphic parts in it that are kind of disturbing. The overall movie's fairly disturbing because you're you're really emotional with Jackie and what she's going through. It's very much from, you know, through her eyes and from her perspective. And that, I, I loved seeing that story. I love hearing those types of stories. So for me, I thought it was a great movie. I loved it. I know it's not going to be for everyone. Now. So if you want a good history movie i think jackie's for you if you're not into that type of thing go watch logan i hear it's great so that's where i'm actually going to end tonight i hope that this vlog didn't go too long with the jackie review anyway i will see you guys tomorrow